and welcome back to the channel. My name is Leanna. Today is day 13 of Vlogmas and today I want to talk about a sale that I ran on my Poshmark closets over the weekend. Poshmark doesn't make it easy for you to run a sale. You really have to get creative and one of the ways that I have found that works for me is I turn on my bundle discounts. If you do not know what a bundle discount is, it is a feature that Poshmark has where in your closet you can offer a certain percentage off if the buyers bundle a certain amount. So I offered, if you bundled two or more items, automatically you would save 30%. I don't use this feature all the time. I don't leave it on all the time because I feel that buyers don't pay attention so much to it all the time and don't realize they're already getting a deal and they want even more off. So I don't leave it on all the time. I do turn it on for a sale. I turned on my bundle discount, bundle two or more, get 30% off. I made a listing for my closet and I shared the crap out of it this weekend. I mean, every is like, okay, gonna share, gotta share, gotta share, gotta share. Shared it 10 times in a row, everything. But then I also, and this is key, I went to my shoppers, which is a feature I really do like on Poshmark. I took the likers from about three, four weeks and I added all their likes to a bundle. Then I sent a message to the bundle and the message is a keyboard shortcut from my phone. It basically just said, hey, my bundle discount is on for the weekend only. Bundle two or more items get automatically 30% off. Happy shopping type of thing. And I sent that message to all of these shop these likers, these bundlers, whatever they were. On Posh Canada, I think it was about 270-ish people. And on Posh US, it was just a little over that. So that's a lot of people that got this message. I did get activity on my accounts. People were bundling things and I was sending them offers because if they bundled even more than the two, I was willing to go even deeper. Um, I was sending out offers just because people were liking items. I was participating in closet clear out the whole bit. I shared, I listed all weekend. Okay, my results, nothing. Absolutely no sales from this sale whatsoever. It's like, oh man. Now, I did have a few sales go out on Posh US. Uh, two were offers to me and one was a closet clear out sort of price reduction. So they went out, but on Poshmark Canada, I had no sales whatsoever on the weekend. None, nada. And you know what? I, it does concern me, it does worry me, but it's happened before and if I'm dead on the weekend, I'm busy during the week. So I'm going to wait and see what happens. I'm still going to be listing and sharing and doing what I have to do. Um, one thing I want to say though, running the sale, it is fairly easy to do. There is a little bit of work. You know, I had to make a listing. I had to share, of course. Um, I had to do the, my shoppers thing, but that doesn't take a lot of time. And you know, it really, you should be sharing your closet anyway. You know, it just didn't work this time. It has worked for me in the past though. I think I've done two or three other ones. I think I started this in April or so and it has worked. So I will be doing it again because one time it doesn't work, doesn't really compute. Let's try it again. Probably in January or February, I will definitely try it again. I find it a very simple way to do it. I don't want to do a name your price sale. That scares me a little bit, especially right now when we're getting a lot of lowball offers. So I don't want to encourage people to give me even less money, <laughs> even though, you know what? I made no money on the weekend. So I don't know. I'm out on my, the jury's out on that for me. If you have ever had a name your price sale, you know, let us know down below in the comments how it went for you. Okay. That is it. Oh, I will, I will, end this by saying I'm really glad that we diversify and that we sell on multiple platforms. If I had to, you know, count on one platform, I don't think I would like that very much. I think it is really important to have multiple streams of income coming in. It makes me feel a little more confident and assured and secure. That is it. Anyway, that is it for today. Thumbs up if you like this content. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.